Hi everyone, Hello. welcome back to a non-box break video. It's uh, called a mail break. Mail break, that's right. Uh, this was a suggestion from Seth Connor, who also wanted a shout out. He suggested we do a video of just shout outs and mail days until we can get around to doing full recordings of box breaks. Uh, so here we go. We got some mail, we got some shout outs, so we'll get to it. Uh, shout out again, Seth Connor, uh, for suggesting this. Uh, the Ultimate Card Collectors uh, have their own channel as well. You can check out their stuff. Uh, ZTL Cards, I believe, just started one recently. Uh, all of these I subscribe to, so if you go into what I watch, uh, you can subscribe to them too. Highly recommended. I got a few comments here from uh, various viewers at home. Uh, Steelers for days said, I wanted to say I really love watching your videos. Tell Lucas that he's cool. Thank you. Jack Daniels said, I just started my own baseball channel. Any advice? So he just started his own channel like we did. Whoa. Any advice for the young man getting started? Hmm. Hmm. Buy what you love. Love what you buy. You can do small stuff, you can do big stuff, you can do new stuff, you can do old stuff. But as long as you enjoy opening it, it's a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, you know, it, it's great fun. Uh, we buy the cards, we sort the cards, we put sets together, we mail cards away, we get cards back. Uh, we do videos, we give them away, we do prizes, we do all kinds of stuff. So, just have a blast with it. I mean, if you're having fun, I think everyone will have fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Including us. Including us, which is the most important thing of all. Uh, Drew Schultz said that he got to meet Michael Irving. Who's that? Uh, Michael Irving was a Dallas Cowboys wide receiver back in the uh, 90s. And he was a heck of a wide receiver on one of the best football teams ever. Uh, him, Troy Aikman, um, I can see him not Perry Sanders. Oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. I can see him. He's right there. What is his name? No. Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, and... Ah, it's going to come to me. I promise. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Whenever you get to meet an athlete, like when we went to Pawtucket, and you actually got to say hi to the players and got pictures taken with them, uh, it's a cool little treat, right? Uh, and we're jealous. Uh, I guess uh, Dustin Pedroia came and met with a couple of teams in uh, the league that we're in. Uh, not ours, unfortunately, but th they got pictures taken with them, which is pretty cool. Uh, and and uh, what is this? Peak RK? P I E K RK? Uh, tips for starting a sports card collection. So if you just get into sports cards, obviously buy base uh, sets is the easiest way to get into it. Uh, the tops, if Football, if you like football, um, Panini has an NFL license. They have a score set that's 99 cents a pack or some nonsense. You get a, a stack like that for like three dollars. Uh, hits are very rare for like autographs or relics, but you do get inserts and foils and stuff, and it, it's it's a good time. I prefer the top set this year. Uh, just more information. But last year's score, from what I hear, I'm trying to get a box to break with Lucas. Yeah. A lot of action shots and fun to collect. Uh, Panini also does, uh, uh, it's called uh, the Golden Age, and they do other things, uh, baseball, older baseball players, along with, uh, like, there's a Three Stooges subset, there's Ooh, a Bad News Bears, uh, based on the movie, uh, so there's a lot of fun things to collect in there, uh, Gypsy Queen, or uh, Alan and Ginter also have a lot of subsets that are interesting to non-sports fanatics as well. All right, last time I mentioned we were going to the Pawtucket Red Sox game. Here's the situation. We had three tickets. We were given to us by a, a friend. <sighs> and last time uh, Lucas was sick, my wife stayed home with him. So this time I let my wife take Lucas and uh, my daughter Lillian to the game. I stayed home. I mowed the lawns. I did yard work. It was, it was, it was good. But they, but they got to go. Awesome. They got an all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, they got. Good seats right down the line. Uh, if you've ever been to Pawtucket, you know where the barbecue tent is. All right, all right. And uh, everyone who entered got this. The Pawtucket Red Sox 2014 player card set. Now, this is different than the set that you can buy at the concession stands for $5, uh, which are 
uh, they're completely different in appearance. But what this is, it's the perforated set. So you get oh, all these guys here. And on the back, you have some of them have fake signatures on them. There's a team photo. Very cool. Uh, some of the managers, of course. You can see some have the, their Red Sox uniforms on. Yeah, yeah. They don't say Paw Sox, they say Red Sox. Um, who was I looking for on this, Lucas? It was, uh, oh boy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Henry Owens. This gentleman right here. Uh, when we went to the Red Sox a couple weeks ago, we saw him get called up from Double A AA to Triple A, and he promptly threw a six inning uh, no hitter until it got broken up. He's one of the rising stars in the Red Sox organization for pitching, and this is probably one of his first cards that he has in a, uh, a Red Sox uniform. Uh, so fantastic to perforate and mail away for autographs, even though it's late in the season. Uh, we got Mookie Betts here, who's up in the major leagues right now. Uh, Dan Butler. Uh, who else? Who else? Justin Henry, who was nice enough. He signed a couple of our baseballs when we went. Uh, let's see here. Henry Owens, big name prospect. This, oh, I thought I said him. Travis Shaw, Carlos Rivera. Alex Wilson. So a very cool set. Uh, we got three of them because three people went. Uh, definitely going to break one up, send it away to get autographs. So uh, pretty cool if you got to go to Pawtucket to see that. Anytime you get freebies like that or the bobbleheads, it's really cool and adds a lot of value to your visit. So we want to do some mail. Uh, we got a fan letter, I think. I don't know. Or maybe it, I don't know what this is. So we'll open this last. Uh, so why don't you open up some of these letters that we sent away for again through the mail uh, Taking cards sending them to the players via the team or uh, other address we get uh, On the sportscollectors.net And hopefully they'll mail them back This is Corey Snyder who is actually on the Indians uh, And that was my main focus even though I did get another Donruss card for his autograph I remember him with the Indians mainly. So we got two nice blue autographed cards there. And the interesting thing about these two, I, I picked uh, 1990 and 1993. You can see the quantum difference in those couple of years. Can I see? Uh, I believe this, this is very similar to design from 91. So this is the type of card you got two years later. This is the kind of card you're getting. Full color, glossy, the backs. I mean, day and night difference between the backs. Photos, stats. Just great. I mean, you don't even get cards like this anymore with a different picture on the back. Uh, so that's very cool. So thank you, Corey Snyder, for these autographs that will go in our collection and be enjoyed. My turn? Yes. Go ahead. This oh, one boy. Is from Tampa. Tampa? Oh, and we also have that uh, Jumbo Tops 2014 football break to do. Two autographs, one relic. Uh, it just... It, takes about a while to do it and edit it, so I'm going to try to get to it this weekend. And this is Jody Reed. Oh, man, this was the guy when I started really, when the Red Sox were on that good run, uh, kicking off with the 86 World Series. He came up through Pawtucket. I believe I saw him a couple times. Uh, he was there uh, a year after we went to the World Series, all the way through 92. He was a staple. I got two cards signed by him. Uh, very cool. One in the Dodgers uniform. You can see the bleeding photographs all the way to the edge. Very sharp looking card. Back of the card is beautiful. Uh, this is the 94 Donruss set and it is gorgeous. It's great for autographs. And this is a Fleer. Uh, still nice, subtle design. Uh, good in action shot. And again, on the back, another photograph. So very cool. Thank you, Jody Reed. Uh, these, are, these are really appreciated. Thank you very much for signing them and returning them. Ooh. Oh, wait, this one's from New York. New York, New York. Don't know who's in New York, but uh, I don't can't keep track of everything we send out. And this is an Allen and Ginter, so this could be interesting, folks. Look at the, on the back. To Matt and Lucas. Oh, what? yeah. Miss... <laughs> Miss Universe. Who's she that? was uh, voted 1993. 19, I'm so old. 2013's Miss Universe, which means she's the most beautiful girl in the universe. Oh. So we got the front card. 
signed beautifully right along the bottom with a heart. And then the capper on the back to Matt and Lucas. Awesome. Very nice. Thank you so much, uh, Maria. That is awesome. Just beautiful card. Uh, if you get a chance to get the Allen and Ginter and send them off to get autographed, they, they look beautifully signed. They're nice and bright. And uh, we got a personalized autograph. How nice is that? Thank you so much. Awesome possum. This one is from Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Excellent. Anyone in the New York area? Uh, I will be going to New York Comic Con this year again. I, I, uh, I'm a senior editor for a comic website as well. Ooh. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, again, to Matt and Lucas. Awesome. Again. <laughs> Another Alan Gitter. Fantastic. This one is from world famous personality Larry King. And he wrote to Matt and Lucas, Larry King. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Larry. Uh, again, years on CNN hosting a talk show. Uh, I wish he hadn't written Lucas's name right across his face like that. I see. Uh, oh, yeah. But still, you know, it, it's awesome. It adds some character to the card, and I love it. And it's. Uh, Made, I love cards that I made out to me and Lucas, or me or Lucas, because, you know, we're not in it to resell or, you know, do anything with them, so that adds some character to it for our collection, and uh, I never object to people personalizing, and in fact, I'll get to this editorial afterwards, but here we go, Jeff Reed. Jeff Reed. Jeff Reed. Sounds like Jeffrey, huh? I know. Nice, long time catcher. Two crisp cards. Thank you so much, Jeff. Before you open that last one, finish my thought here. Something I noticed at the National when I was looking at their autograph prices. A lot of celebrities charge for autographs, and I'm all right with that. You know, I understand they have to travel to these shows and such, and you know, it's, a lot of these older athletes didn't make a lot of money. But it drives me crazy when they charge extra for a card to be personalized. What does that mean? It means they have your name written on it. So there are athletes that will charge $40 for them to take this card and sign their name on it. And if you wanted them to write to Matt and Lucas, yeah. it cost another $10 to $20. Wow. So you're paying more to have your, for him just to write your name on it. To me, it should be $10 cheaper if you get it personalized because you know it's not going on eBay. It's not being sold in a store. I mean, it, it's, I love getting personalized stuff because it makes it unique to me and I'm in it for the fun. So no big deal. Uh, but that just drives me crazy. You know, $20 to write to Lucas on it. What? Awesome. Not awesome, because it's more money. It should be cheaper, because you know we're going to keep it. So the last card. <coughs> oh, last card. Uh, this is from uh, Andrew. Uh, from New York. From New York, New York. I don't know if it was from New York, New York. New York's a huge state. I don't know. But everything's huge when you live in Rhode Island. Easy, easy, easy. What? You're going at it like a maniac, my friend. All right. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. I need to open it. All right, you open it. Five dollars? Five dollars? What does it say? Oh, that was an eBay thing. That wasn't even a, a card. I, wow. You put it in a top loader. <laughs> All right, I felt the top loader through that, and I was like, oh, that's interesting, because we do get a lot of people asking for our address. Uh, so it is five American dollars and a free top loader, so you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, it's eBay, so eBay, eBay. So uh, those are all the mail cards, but we got one more special what? One yeah. more special thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Our last yeah. video, yeah. we did what was called a case hit of Topps yeah. football. Yeah, it was one pack. And we had that nice metal card. It was uh, Aaron yeah. Rodgers, Siri remembered. It was beautiful. And I had gotten that on eBay. Yeah. Well, somebody saw that video, and they threw me an email. And they said, uh, you know, I want to send you, you know, something in the mail uh, so you can open it on camera. Okay. Uh, didn't tell me what, and it came, and I was like, oh, holy cows. Uh, he asked not to be named uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, just wanted to do it because he liked the video series. So what we have here... In my pocket, you can get it out. It's not a hot pocket, but another hot pack it's from Tops Football 2014. Feel how stiff this bad boy is. Tell me, 
Do you think that has it? Do you think that has something good in it? Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let's uh, open it up, and uh, I'll try not to say the guy, guy or girl's name. Uh, but thank you so much. And we're, here we go. We're cracking it open. All right. Antoine Ecom, again the uh, the draft card. Who's that? Hey, I got. Oh, Brian Hoyer. I thought I had Johnny Football. Sorry, Brian. Johnny Football. Johnny Manziel. Still haven't gotten his rookie card from Tops this year. Uh, let's see. Ed Dickerson. Opening night tonight uh, for football. I got my fantasy team up and running. Uh, just picked up Josh Gordon because uh, I hear his suspension may be overturned. Pick him up and running. All right. How are we looking here? Uh, James Jones. Nice action shot let's, there. Let's relax. Let me do that. Eric Fisher. Oh, this is one of the uh, the fantasy players, Alfred Morris. Okay. Oh, Perry Thomas. Uh, I almost picked him up in a trade, but the guy backed out. Uh, but that would have been a nice pickup. And another draft. So, what's the hit we got today, young man? Drum roll. Oh, very nice. Eric Ebron. Relic. Authentic. And this is interesting. It actually has a string in it. Congratulations. Drafted round one, tenth overall draft pick for the Lions this year. Check this bad boy out. You can actually see the string hanging. It actually pops out of the card. There you go. So that's a nice, awesome relic right there uh, for a nice young rookie player for the Lions. Very cool. How do I get the uniform, but not, but when he's out to play, not have holes in his uniform? Well, because they take the uniform after, like, the preseason game, they cut it up and just take the best pieces. Mm -hmm. So that's a very cool card. Awesome. Thank you so much, unnamed benefactor. And uh, that does it for us this week. Yeah. Or today. I don't know. Hopefully, again, this weekend, we will get to... The Tops 2014. Oh, I got it. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith was the running back for Dallas. Holy cows. Oh, my God. I can't believe I, I couldn't pull that up. Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith, by all accounts, a great guy. Uh, Michael Irvin had his moments in the league where he was uh, in trouble with the law. Well, why are we finding out that anyways? Because somebody uh, mentioned that he got to meet Michael Irvin. Oh, yeah. And I was trying to remember the three key players of the great Dallas team that... Uh, that uh, was going on. Barry, was it Barry Switzer was the coach? Jimmy Johnson. Uh, good times. So thank you so much to everyone for clicking on the ads and sending comments, get, asking for shout outs, sending us letters, even though it was an eBay letter. I don't know. I can't tell because who sends money through the mail for anything anymore? In a top loader, just people who do, uh, who do videos. Uh, so that's it for this time. We'll be back in a couple days with the 2014 Tops Jumbo Break. With two autograph cards and one relic. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. And uh, go Patriots. Yeah. And Browns if they're not playing the Patriots. <laughs>